I'm going to segue to our final topic of today, and that is um, all about um, AT&T and DISH and the Andromeda auction. And Ron, I'm going to let you bring us home on that one. <laughs> well, thank you. Yes. I, you know, speaking of C-band spectrum, which has right. uh, been very important and certainly uh, was a uh, key factor in the, you know, the FAA controversy. And uh, recently, uh, the FCC conducted a C-band au- uh, uh, auction. And I think a little background is helpful. It was the third largest one in the uh, FCC history. Uh, it, it was only behind uh, last year's uh, massive C-band auction of $81 billion, right. where Verizon spent right. a uh, you know good fortune yeah. to you know secure uh, C-band <laughs> yeah. assets. And then 2015's AWS 3 uh, auction, which came in at $45 billion. So this auction netted $22 billion. And in it, uh, AT&T spent $9 billion to, uh, in essence, scoop up 1,624 licenses, followed by DISH with uh, $7.3 billion spent on 1,232 licenses, and then T-Mobile with uh, $2.9 billion spent in order to secure 199 uh, licenses. So, you know, it's an impressive haul for these three right. players to gain, you know, these valuable C-band assets at this uh, stage of the 5G uh, competitive race. Right. And what's I actually think important to note here is that Verizon did not partake, that even, you know, looked to pad their existing C-band uh, assets after, you know, their major uh, spend on last year's uh, C-band right. uh, spectrum auction. So I, I think, you know, this is definitely worth noting that why is C-band so valued you know, by the operators? Uh, it, it Fundamentally, it kind of uh, provides a Goldilocks, you know, provides the combination of throughput and speed with coverage that enables right. 5G to really, you know, hit its uh, optimal capabilities. And that is, you know, in the 3.45 to 3.55 uh, gigahertz range. Right. And so I think uh, this is uh, definitely something to definitely follow. Uh, that is, you know, how Spectrum is being allocated, how, you know, the major players are capitalizing on it. And I think um, one other takeaway is that when T-Mobile added uh, those licenses and enabled them to, uh, you know, remind the, uh, the market that the Andromeda auction or auction 110 uh, allowed them to add an average of 21 megahertz of midband to their existing spectrum right. portfolio. And so that uh, actually reaches to 184 million people. So that's, you know, a pretty that's sizable a number to, yeah. you know, to improve your targeting on. And as a result, their overall 5G network can reach 310 million people, uh, people which allows them to assert that's twice as much as what AT&T can do uh, today and, ver- and five times as much as Verizon can do today. Although, as you noted with the speed test, those numbers right. will change right. as you know, they bring uh, AT&T and Verizon bring on more of their C-band uh, assets to uh, market and, and, be- and make it commercialized and so forth. But definitely, uh, we're going to keep an eye on, on uh, the uh, spectrum races and uh, definitely the auctions and so forth and how it's definitely impacting you know, the ability of the major uh, mobile operators to you know, uh, feed... Uh, the demand out there to right. you know make a big impact across all society and not just you know for specific mobile applications and so forth. So this is you know uh, good news overall uh, for the whole industry, but certainly good news for AT and T, Dish, and uh, T Mobile from my perspective. Absolutely. 